them you may never get again. The list of those who have been taken from us is full of those who were so loved, so talented, and who are now so very sorely missed. And not only those who are close to us, but also some of those who are close to you. As we consider each and every one of you, our brothers and sisters, our blood, to be our family, with pride to our memory. strength and support of our extended family, we can make a difference to those who fight this war. We must continue to be their allies, their hope, their added source of strength. We must continue to give all of them a reason to fight.
reason to fight. You are my reason to fight. As time went on, I thought that maybe performing this song would get easier for me, but it doesn't. Perhaps it never will. And I have to learn to be at peace with them. I've had to learn to be at peace with so many things that are in no way, shape, or form peaceful. I had my son out with me here on the road not too long ago. And to be honest with you, I was terrified of what he would think to see his father like this. And after about three or four times witnessing me break down up here, he asked me, said, Daddy, why are you crying up there? And I said to him, son, it's because I can't help but remember how sad I was during this one point in time and the song brings me right back there each and every time. And he said to me, no, it's okay, daddy. It's okay to be sad. I'm sad too sometimes. The demons that are known as depression and addiction are very real. They are diseases no different than cancer. Same way that cancer grows and metastasizes within the body, so do depression and addiction out of sight and out of perception. Doesn't matter how strong you think you are. Doesn't matter how blessed your life looks from the outside. No one is immune to them. Every single member of the band has struggled with those demons. And I am so very sick and tired of watching my friends die. I miss them also very, very much. I miss Chester, I miss Chris, I miss Scott, I miss Keith Flint from The Prodigy and so many others that we've lost. And if I can be painfully honest with you, during a very dark week this past February, I almost joined them. Would you like to know what kept me here? My son. And each and every single one of you.
Ladies and gentlemen, you may not have realized it before coming here tonight, but you are attending the largest group therapy session you will ever attend in your lives. Now, by a show of hands, how many of you have you struggled with the demons known as depression and addiction yourself or know someone that has? Keep those hands up. Now take a look around this amphitheater. As you can see, my friends, you are not alone. 